What's up guys, this is going to be a full tour and review of Disney's Animal Kingdom Kidani Village. So Kidani Village is the DVC resort for Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. So if you are a member of the Disney Vacation Club or considering becoming a member of DVC, you're going to want to check this video out to see if this is an option for one of the resorts you stay at. In addition, others can stay here as well. Disney does rent the DVCs out or you can buy them from third-party websites like Days Vacation Rentals and things like that. The Animal Kingdom Kidani Lodge is a beautiful resort, very similar to the Animal Kingdom Lodge right next door. The rooms are a little different. You do have studios, you have one, two, three bedroom villas. So it's more for long-term stays or timeshare kind of things. So here's a map of Kidani Village. It's right next door to Animal Kingdom's Jumbo House. So you can walk back and forth you can use both hotels amenities, the pools, the restaurants, etc. So DVC resorts like Kidani Village have a couple different things that the regular uh, resorts do not have. They have like more laundry services um, that are free to use. You just have to provide your own um, you know, detergent and things like that. There's also like areas to grill and, and sport courts and stuff like that. Here's your bus stops right next to the main lobby. So Disney buses start running approximately an hour or so before everything opens. So if a park opens at like for early admission at eight, you know, they'll be running around 6.50, seven ish. So again, you can walk right to the Jumbo house, the main lodge. We're gonna hit up the sports court and barbecue area. And you're right on the bud of real Florida wildlife too, right next to the animal kingdom. So the main lobby is down over here. I just walked down the path. We can keep going over here to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Over here is the parking garage for self-parking. So unfortunately, Disney does charge for parking in the last couple of years. So it is $25 a night to store a car here overnight. So right across from where we just were is the sports courts, so it's like tennis courts and uh, an area to grill out if you just want to chill. So a little pavilion, nothing too uh, spectacular. Basketball hoops, tennis courts. So if you, if you want to do a little bit of that, you also got some shuffleboard, so some activities. You can get those um, through the concierge or the desk. You can kind of reserve some times and opportunities to come do that. There's some... Uh, native deer those are not that's not part of the animal kingdom those are actual deer that are just in the wild that's pretty cool never really see deer in florida what's cool about the animal kingdom lodges on the other side of those rooms you have savannas so your main drop-off area you got valet services right over there in the corner also got luggage services right into the left um, this is where you're going to come and drop your stuff off or get picked up by Ubers. Over here is your airport shuttles. So your airport shuttles will be on that other little area. Good job with the seaming. This is cool at night, by the way. So $33 for valet parking as compared to $25 for the self park. So as you enter, um, over here is your check-in, concierge, and then over here in the corner is going to be your luggage services. So bell services, luggage services right here. And then to the right, you have your little gift shop, Yohari Treasures. It's, you know, got all your little dizzy knickknacks, but nice little open air lobby. It's quaint, a little smaller and less busy than the Animal Kingdom Lodge main lobby. 
This is DVC. Here we got beautiful views of the savannah. So the store is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So you got your refillable mug station, beer, food, souvenirs. All right, to the right side, um, you'll you can go towards where we just were with the transportation area. You have the arcade, you also have a laundry room, and you can access one of the restaurants. And there's little safari areas, nice little study area, quiet area. A little fireplace here. So this is what it's all about. This is what makes the Animal Kingdom Lodge so cool, in my opinion. One of the best things. It's like literally you just come out here, you literally just see giraffes and zebras and all sorts of things. So look, like there's a giraffe just right here, just hanging out. So the animals are out in the safaris from when the sun comes up, I think seven o'clock is when they get released and then they go down when the sun um, is going down. So you can view them um, if you have a safari view, or you can come down to the main lobby area and check out all the animals as long as you want. It's really cool. Yeah, I just love all the little details and the theming of this kind of resort. So there's also a little arcade here. So 8 a.m. that opens. So on a rainy day. Across from the arcade is another kid friendly thing. It's um, sort of like a kid little camp. So um, they need to be accompanied by an adult if they're under 12, but it's like little activities and things. And that's open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then right next to the arcade is the laundry. So like I said, you know, the DVC perk is you do have access to free laundry and dryer, but you do have to provide for your own materials for detergents. So downstairs is one of your restaurants. So Sana is, has got a bar. A quick grab and go for breakfast sit down for the other parts of the day. Very cool theming. And you got views of the savannah as well. You get your coffee here in the morning. Very cool. Just more places to chill and relax. Dead end over here brings you to the south side elevators. We'll check out the outdoor savanna. Some giraffe. So that's a little fire pit. Check that out at night. So cool. 
having my coffee, checking out a giraffe. Nobody's around me. I see some wildebeests out there. You can see how the, a lot of the safari views, you literally just come on your balcony when you wake up and, and you got like these crazy African animals just walking around. It's really amazing, really cool experience. And actually those buildings are a part of the main Animal Kingdom Lodge, just to put in perspective how close it is. It's right there. Where are you guys going? Such cool theming, you really feel like you're somewhere else. The other side, the Savannah viewing area by the lobby. Recreation events. These resorts are so big. I feel like I'm like a mile away from the lobby. I just keep walking. All right, so this is a DVC, Kidani Village Studio. A micro, you got a fridge. Toaster, coffee pot, sink. This sofa is actually a pull-out sofa, so you can sleep four or five people in here in these studios. So we got a nice little area to chill. We got flat screens. We got USB jacks. Pretty good amount of storage. You know, just put your bag in there. I also got a closet for storage. Boom. And we got extra pillows and blankets, ironing boards, standard stuff. So more storage. Okay, so bathroom. Standard tub, nothing impressive. I wish they had a walk-in shower, you know, versus uh, the tub, but I get it, people have kids and stuff. Give you the uh, toiletries that you need. Vanity and mirror are pretty good, well-themed. And the throne looks pretty basic. And this is a safari view, so let's check it out. So here's the balcony <coughs> and Riley. So Savannah view. It's pretty cool. You can see all the animals, giraffes. Wow. It's right here, right from our balcony. It's pretty cool. So from the uh, right side of the resort is going to be the Sumawati pool. So the fitness center is over by the pool, survival of the fittest. Vegas, but it does the job. It's right near the pool area. It's like a cool jungle walking down to the pool. It is a nice pool area for sure. So this is the Maji pool bar, Kidani Village, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eat drinks. Hot tub, pool area. The pool hours, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Back here is like a little splash pad, and there's also a water slide.
kids playground it's nice and shaded and you got the splash pad here so it's really cool feature for Kadani Village so the kids can have fun adults can have fun you got some shaded areas a little water slide there too for the kids really cool All right, guys, I hope you found this tour informative and useful if you're considering staying in Kadani Village or the Animal Kingdom Lodge area. It is a really cool experience. It's more quaint and smaller than the uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge across the way, um, but it's if you're more into the quiet kind of vibe and just simple, you know, peaceful, like, look, I'm the only person out here. Um, this is definitely something to consider and you can get this even if you are not a DVC member. All right, so thank you and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Anyone uh, who's considering this hotel, have a good day and we'll see you guys next time.